AI is threatening Americans' jobs. Could guaranteed income provide a safety net? Michael Tubbs was born and raised in Stockton, California, roughly a one-hour drive from Silicon Valley, the birthplace of the AI revolution that's now forecast to forever change the way Americans live and work. But despite coming of age in big tech's backyard, the America that Tubbs grew up in was marked by scarcity and poverty, he told CNN. His own experiences led him to think about different ways that the wealthiest country in the world could help Story ameliorate poverty. When Tubbs went on to become the first black mayor of his hometown in 2016, he spearheaded a guaranteed income pilot program in 2019 that did something simple yet radical, give out free money with no strings attached. That idea of guaranteed income is receiving renewed interest as AI becomes an increasing threat to Americans' livelihoods. Global policymakers and business leaders are now increasingly warning that the rise of artificial intelligence will likely have profound impacts on the labor market and could put millions of people out of work in the years ahead. As more Americans' jobs are increasingly at risk due to the threat of AI, Tubbs and other proponents of guaranteed income say this could be one solution to help provide a safety net and cushion the expected blow AI will have on the labor market. For a period of two years, starting in 2019, Stockton handed out to 125 randomly selected residents in low-income neighborhoods $500 a month with no conditions around how they used the funds or if they had employment. The initial results from the pilot program found that recipients had drastically improved their job prospects and financial stability and saw better physical and mental health outcomes. The idea of a guaranteed income is not new. Tubbs said he was inspired to pursue it after reading the works of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. Decades after King's death, the idea of guaranteed income went on to see a resurgence of support emanating out of Silicon Valley. Altman, CEO of one of the world's most powerful AI companies, OpenAI, has also been outspoken about what he sees as the need for some form of guaranteed income as many jobs are increasingly lost to automation. Other tech industry tycoons, including Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey, have also thrown immense financial support behind guaranteed income programs. Dozens of cities across the United States have already begun experimenting with guaranteed income programs in recent years with most of them funded by nonprofit organizations, but organized by local officials. Opponents to guaranteed income programs, most of whom lean Republican, have argued that such efforts disincentivize work or that taxing successful tech companies can stifle innovation. In court documents, the Attorney General goes on to slam the program as illegal and illegitimate government overreach. Tomas Vargas Jr., a recipient of guaranteed income, in the Stockton pilot program, told CNN that he heard critics saying that receiving the extra payments would make people lazy. For years, Vargas said he woke up every day with the crippling anxiety that comes with never quite knowing how he will be able to provide for his family. Vargas said the extra cash payments he received helped him focus and apply for one full-time job, which he never had the time or energy to do before. 